and the, the video, the I have done two two videos. One video was the discovery of Aphrodite's library, showing how it was discovered. Because again, when I produced the library, people kept asking me, has such a library ever been found? Is there something like that in the museum? So I thought, well, since it hasn't been found, I have to discover it. So the idea was to, to bury the books and then discover them and, and make a video uh, with the discovery. And the, the other video is, um, is to do with the, it's called About Aphrodite. And um, when I first acquired the house in Guglia, um, I began to gradually think, I'd love to know what the local people think about Aphrodite, because we all know what the, the archaeologists and the historians <laughs> tell us. And, uh, but the most important thing to me was, what do these people think? Because they, they've lived here all their lives for centuries. Their ancestors probably worked in the temple. And, um, and they obviously they have a, a relationship with the goddess that nobody else can have and not even the, the rest of the Cypriots who, who are far away from this village. So I thought I'll collect uh, 12 people, six men and six women. Uh, 12 is a kind of, it, it's a number that <laughs> we get in Christianity, we get in the ancient Greek gods, so I thought I, I'll use that number. And um, I was very lucky because um, uh, the, the people who took part in the, in the video had their own personal opinions about the goddess. Most of the men talk, talked about um, the sexual practices <laughs> in, in the temple. And um, some of them would actually point, uh, one of them pointed to the back of, of the betel, um, uh, which is the conical stone, which is Aphrodite, saying that um, that's where the deflowering um, of the virgins took place, or, or where Aphrodite and, and Adonis uh, had sex, or the priests. And um, the women talked about, um, about the ceremony that they performed in order to acquire milk when they had babies, um, which is interestingly, they performed in front of a stone in the, in the, in the temple. Um, originally, it was performed in front of the betel before it was moved. Um, but uh, they, instead of praying to Aphrodite, they were praying to the Virgin Mary. So they were actually making the sign of the cross and asking the Panagia to give them milk, even though they were praying to a stone in the, in the temple. I found that extremely interesting. And one woman actually had performed the, the ceremony and uh, told us about it. And the other thing that was very interesting that, uh, I, that came out of it, which I had never encountered anywhere before, is that quite a few uh, people um, in the video talked about underground passages that um, Aphrodite traveled underground, which was very intriguing. And um, I, to this time, I cannot, I cannot explain it. Actually, uh, I was talking with my husband who suggested that maybe because the ancient religion was driven underground by Christianity, maybe there was something in that, there was something in that, that she was traveling underground. But um, yes, I, I, I don't really know why, because when I asked them whether there are such underground passages, nobody had ever seen one. Uh, but yet in, in, the, in their mind, and they had the story that, that she traveled underground.